what happened? Steve went over to police headquarters, pretended Pam sent him there to fertilize the plants. Did you find the diamonds? Yep. Well, hand them over. Not until I know where Tina is. Don't you double-cross me now. Let me see those stones first and make sure that they're the real thing. Come on, let's see them. Yeah, looks like about 600,000 worth to me. Ought to be enough to change your face. Problem is, it won't change what's inside. You'll still be a murdering, drug-dealing creep. Now, where the hell is Tina? What's left of her, you mean? Man, you must be desperate. You saw those falls? No one could possibly survive that. Why, you... I might be a murdering, drug-dealing creep, but you're a stupid fool, Holden, and it won't be any loss at all to this planet when I finish you off. I'm amazed at how stupid you are. Damn it, I had no choice. Not if Tina could be alive. Bottom line on love, Max, is that it distorts your thinking. Never fails. Now I gotta find myself another disguise, so you and I are going shopping. I've never been too fond of shopping. Would you prefer to remain here, dead on the floor? No, I'd rather go shopping than die. But anyway, you promised me that letter that would state that I wasn't involved with you or Medina in that coke ring. Oh, sure. And while I'm at it, why don't I just drop my parents off a line, too, huh? Or better yet... Don't move, Jamie! I've lost all family feeling, buddy. Not as much of an idiot as you thought, huh, Jamie? Hand over the gun. Do it, Jamie. You plug him and I'll get you first. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You two stay put. You've got great timing, Cassie. First to return from Europe with some guy who's got a plane ticket and a passport out of here. And now you arrive just in time to save me from these two freaks. Any particular reason why you've still got that gun, Uncle? Why don't you slide it over to me real nice and easy? Now! All right, Cassie and I are gonna back on out of here. Leave her, Jamie. Take me instead. Or me. No, look, if anyone should be hostage, it might as well be me. What a willing group. I'd love to take all three of you, but I think it would get crowded in Jamie, the car. Jamie, please, don't kill anybody. I'm not. That would bring too much heat down in this place. I'm not gonna kill you either. I just need you to help me get out of here. All right. See the closet over there? Get in it, both of you. Move! Amy, where are you let her go? Sure. All right, Cassie. Now take it real nice and slow through the lobby. Any false movement, I'll resort to the person that you all know and love so well. I have no doubt about it. Shooter, John. Oh, we gotta call the cops with the make on the car. We got so cozy at lunch, neither of us wants to go back to the office. That is a problem. Maybe we should cut out all our lunches from now on. I don't think that's a very good solution. Yeah, neither do I. Oh, uh, well, no use putting it off any longer, yeah. is there? Uh, Mr. Cowles, a phone call for you. Caught! Oh, Herb, you've got to stop giving your secretary your number. Bad habit. I'll have to break it. Uh, yes, this is Herb Callis. No. Uh, you have any idea with... Uh, yes, all right. I'll, uh, I don't know what. I'll... I'll... Uh, goodbye. Herb, what is it? Jamie's alive. Turning number 21. Then how else are we supposed to get to the costume company? Just take the back roads, Cassie. I'm sure Max and Uncle John have already turned in the make of your car by now. In fact, maybe we ought to pull over somewhere and find another one. So what are you going to do, stick your gun in some guy's ribs and steal his car? Why not? It's either that or we hold up somewhere to give me some time to think. 
Oh, you really plan ahead, don't you, Jamie? I didn't expect Holden to be working with my Uncle John. Yeah, neither did I. Well, what did you show up for? Because I have a low IQ. Listen, Jamie, why don't we go to John's loft? What for? Cocktails? No, because he has a makeup kit there. Maybe you could come up with, with some disguise. He uses it for undercover. It has a wig in it and everything. Why are you being so helpful? Because I'm afraid if I don't think of something, you might kill somebody. All right, John's apartment. That's a good idea. No one will expect to look for us there. I'll just get into a new disguise, tie you up, and be on my way. That's all you're going to do to me? Tie me up? Just head on up to John's. And remember, no major thoroughfares. Let's see if the infamous Jamie Sanders is on the airwaves yet. Could make people start believing in ghosts, huh? All right, let's go to my office. Talk about news programming. What? Dorian! Dorian! You're not gonna believe this. The police have been looking for you. What is it, John? Kathy? That's... that's impossible. He can't be alive. Kate told us that he was shot and he fell in the river and drowned. Somehow he managed to survive. Oh, Herb, I... I can't believe it. I... I know what terrible crimes he committed and how much pain he caused people, but maybe we can reach him. Maybe this is... A chance for him to atone, change. I, I've got to go to Argentina to see him. Judas, he's in Landview. Landview? Yes. Is he in police custody? Oh, no, he's on the run trying to cut a deal with Max Holden. What kind of deal? I don't know the details, except Max and John tried to trap him. Did they hurt him? I wish they had. I'm sorry. He's taking Cassie hostage. Oh, my God. I had so much hope. How could I be so stupid? He's your son. You wanted to believe him. I can't blame you for that. No, there was there was no hope, not from the beginning. I mean, I realized what a horror he had become, but I I heard you say alive, and I thought, I don't know, I felt hope and, and, and joy and relief, but he doesn't care about anything. Except his freedom. When he's through with Cassie when he has no use for her. We have, we have to help her. I'll take you back to the law, and then I'm going to headquarters. You want to find him, don't you? You want to join the manhunt, don't Excuse you? I'm terrified for my daughter. I can't pretend to feel anything but hatred for your son. I know he's your son, but he's harmed my daughter. Listen, you have every right to feel that way. We've got to help her. We'll do anything to help her. We've got to stop her. Let's get out of here. Anybody home? See, I told you. Great. Where would my good old uncle keep some rope? What would John be doing with rope? He doesn't herd cattle. You're a real comedian, Cass. But if you don't get constructive real quick, I'm gonna have to knock you over the head. Well, I, I, I don't know where he keeps some rope. I... Here. Rip a nice long strip out of that so I can tie your wrists. Must be one of your dads, huh? Hey, you know my father's been living with your mother, right? Yeah. They came by the Vernon Inn one day while I was painting. They were practically making it on the floor. It's great to see my mother grieving so much over my death. Yeah, unending grief, right, Jamie? You had to come back, you had to hurt more innocent people. If you were gonna stay alive, you should have just stayed in Argentina. I couldn't get the half million in diamonds in Argentina. I had to go where the money was, you understand? So, what's the story with Diane Bristol? Did she leave town or what? Diane's dead. She, dead? Yeah, she fell out a window at my mother's house when she was trying to take off with my mom's jewelry. Turn around. She told me all about you, Jamie. She told me about you blackmailing her, Allison Perkins. All right, just shut up. I'm trying to think of a way of getting out of here. All right.
right, where's that makeup kit? It's in the bathroom. Good. Let's go and get it. 